Yep, on this computer. And there we are. We are recording. Hi, Missy Johnson. Now, first, let me just say thank you so much. Just the video that you did of how I found you, because people were, you know, you were the buzzword. And so I, I, I sought it out. I saw it. I shared it with the team. And so they were excited uh, in regards to uh, this training. So go right ahead. You have it. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm always honored when I am asked to share because I'm always learning from others. I like to learn. Um, and we have, none of us have learned it all. One of the things that um, I am really good at, though, and I am blessed to have is a fantastic VIP group. It's an active VIP group. And uh, my husband, David, and I, we, we do paparazzi together. We are elite consultants with company. And we are two-time platinum sellers on our way to Diamond this year. So um, we're very proud of that. Um, and part, a huge part of our success is our VIP group. Um, I want to tell you before I get into my training for VIP group, if you do not have one, do not stop what you're doing and go create a VIP group. You can apply my principles to your business page. You can apply your principles to some things on if you're working from your personal page. I don't want you to abandon ship and just go do a VIP group. Sometimes we follow the newest thing without learning it first. So I'm not saying you can't begin one and take some notes, but keep doing what's working for you and add this to it. That's super important. Um, um, I'll have to tell you a little bit about my story, which is I started paparazzi through a Facebook party um, and I, I didn't wear, I didn't wear jewelry um, and I didn't wear jewelry because I couldn't wear earrings and I didn't wear earrings because my ears would get infected sometimes even with gold or silver. So, and as you can see, I like, I like big earrings, like the bigger, the better. And since, and I grew up in the eighties and didn't get to do all that. My earrings always ended up in my pocket. So the long of the, the short of it is, is my best friend bugged me to death and said, you got to check out this jewelry. It's $5. I'll add you to her VIP group where she has her parties. And I was like, okay. And I was just being polite. Um, and then she brought me, listen to a girl who wears no jewelry. She brought me fan of the tribe. Do you hear me? I was looking at this thing like, if you don't know what fan of the tribe is. I did not wear jewelry. <laughs> she brought me this and said, you gotta try this out, it's $5. Um, I still didn't try it. It sat in the center console of my truck and I was polite and I never wore it. Then she had a party and I was invited to my sponsor's VIP group and inside that group is where my friend's party happened. And I say that because one of the biggest ways I get people in my VIP group, I don't have my parties in there, but when I have a party, I give them the option to join the VIP group and shop the jewelry ahead of time. And so they, nine times out of 10, they join. So um, I joined her party to be, it's my best friend. So of course I'm gonna jump on. I was women's ministries leader. Um, I had a secret sister. So I knew that I could give this jewelry away as excellent gifts. Um, so I started shopping and the next thing I knew on my friend's party, the girl who doesn't wear jewelry had like a 40 or $50 order. Um, and then I joined the company and still for a year, I didn't wear the earrings because <laughs> I was so nervous because all my life I wasn't able to. Um, but as you can see now, I have absolutely no problem. It's the only jewelry I can wear that doesn't uh, mess up my ears. So now when I started, Andrea Hutchison is my upline and you will hear hear me on YouTube and in different places tell, say that she's my sponsor because she is now. In the beginning of the lady I joined, um, I don't know that she knew exactly what she was doing. We were both kind of hunting and pecking. I just did what she did and she had this group. I created this group. I added my friends to it. I put albums in there every week of all the things I wanted to show or all the things I had ordered. People would buy it. And then when it got to me, I'd ship it out. And I had one desire, I had one need, and that was to pay for a full car payment. I wanted to have a brand new car with a car payment, a car we could depend on, but there was not money in the budget for it. 
So my jewelry business paid for that in a VIP group album and the total total of $500. I'm telling you this, I want you to have a premium on, premium on what a VIP group can do for you. Um, and it's a funnel. It's not the only way I sell jewelry, but it is the nucleus of my business. Okay. It is the nucleus of Misty Johnson's business. Your nucleus might be your business page. Your nucleus may be a website you have. Um, but my nucleus is this VIP group. And I had a goal every month before the 20th of the month, I had to have that $500. All right. And that's like 277 pieces. I think a month you have to sell to do that. I did the math and I needed, and I needed to know. So, uh, and we didn't do live parties. Um, we were literally, we were just having face, we were having picture parties pretty much. And I did it inside a group so it wouldn't blow up people's newsfeed and I wouldn't be Facebook public enemy number one. And you would just post your pictures super fast and keep giving images to refresh. I'm telling you all of this for a reason. Okay, because it helped model my VIP group um, in the way I run it now and even the way I run some of my albums. Okay, so this VIP group was where I started and had all of my parties in the beginning. Then Facebook Live came along and then Andrea became my personally, she was my sponsor because two ladies between us quit and I love Andrea. Um, and she said, Miss, you gotta have a business page. Well, I didn't wanna leave my VIP group. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do anything to confuse them or anything. I didn't want to rock the boat. So it took me a long time to start a VIP or a business page. I eventually did. And that is where I go live. And that is where I do a lot of promotion interaction with the public. Now, when you think of a VIP group, and I do want you to write down questions if you have them, chances are I'm going to cover it and you won't need to ask the question, but if at the end I haven't covered it, I will take some questions as long as that's okay with your leader. Yeah. Perfect. So, so I have, now I have, I'm live on Facebook, but I'm doing all those live shows on my business page where, where I was instructed to do it, which is where I think you should do live shows. I think that, um, and that's how I do it. But some girls do it from their personal page. Some people do it on Instagram. You need to be live wherever you're live at. A VIP group is the place where people get to know each other. And about a year and a half ago, it could be two years by now, but there was a commercial that previewed on TV around the holidays and they were playing kazoos and one lady starts uh, playing her kazoo in a college classroom and the next thing you know she's out in the street somebody else joins her and they keep going and before you know it it's like this flash mob of people playing kazoos and the the theme to the commercial the intention of the commercial is to bring attention to facebook groups mm -hmm. and it begins at the end of the commercial now imagine how much a national commercial costs and facebook is bringing attention to this kazoo group, not specifically the kazoo group, but the way that Facebook br brings people together. Groups bring people together with common interests and, and they begin to build communities within the World Wide Web. Now, Facebook had um, that their purpose when they first began, Mark Zuckerberg and, and his team, what they wanted to do was to reach the entire world through this social media platform. They did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they wanted to dial it in. And if you remember um, some of our information, our personal stuff got out, you know, all kinds, there was that big legal thing. And then they wanted to work on bringing people closer together. And if you saw someone in your newsfeed, it was actually somebody you knew. If you were in a group, you were in there to connect with people that are part of community and they began to have community standards okay and so groups begin to have this premium and I already had a VIP group not because I was ahead of it of the of anything just because I guess I was just blessed in my circumstances I just did what was done and um, began to love the, I had already seen the value of a VIP group 
Um, and inside a VIP group, uh, it's exactly what Facebook wants. You're bringing people together. All those people that come to your parties, they are itching for more of you all week. They want you, and you can you be live 24 hours a day? No, you can't do that. You can go live seven days a week. Yeah, you can go live three to seven, five days a week, however you want to do it. You can go live often, but really they want more of you. They can buy the jewelry anywhere. And in my experience, what I have seen is in this community, and I'm going to show you my VIP group, and I cannot wait to show you the beautiful ladies in there. Um, <laughs> even since you have seen it, it has just grown. Um, but it is amazing. Okay, so think of a VIP group before I give you a tour. Think of VIP access. What does that mean to you? If you get VIP access in concert, or if there is a Broadway show and you get VIP backstage access, there's something special you're supposed to get, right? There's something you're supposed to get that no one else gets, right? You might get merchandise. You may get an uncut album or a B-side record. Um, you might get a t-shirt. You might get, you're getting something that no one else gets. And with your VIP group, when you create it, you can do this on your business page too. You can put it in an album and do this. I think the exclusivity of a VIP group um, brings it, makes your group a little bit smaller. It is an island, but it's a fun island. And the people on the island will come out to the live every week. I promise they've done it for me. So in your VIP group, I can't tell you what it is. I can tell you what I do, but you are going to give them something special that they cannot, that the whole world can't get unless they're in your VIP group, okay? In my VIP group, I have a list of 1,300 people that I can ask anytime I want to be a hostess for my party. I've got a list of 1,300 people inside there and I do go remove people after a while. Somebody added them and they just never got, to, you know, they never really, did anything. So I keep it between 13 and 1500 and I can reach out to them and ask them to be my hostess before I ask anybody else. I can reach out to them and say, Hey, um, I've noticed that we haven't seen your pretty face in a while. I just want to offer you free shipping this week. If you see something that you want, or, Hey, pick out two pieces you love from the all access album this week. We haven't seen your pretty face in a while. And I just want to say, hi, no strings attached. Those people I treat like gold, okay? And what they get in my group is they get access to all the jewelry before it ever goes public, even before it goes to my website, my app, because we have comments sold, but even before it goes to the website or the app, the order's on the way, but it is not published to the website or the app. They first in there and they love that. You tell a woman, and I have some men in there, but you tell a woman she can have access to something before anybody else does, uh, yes, sign me up, right? So my VIPs love this, all right? So you got to determine. So mine is, I give them all the jewelry that's on the way. And then what's left over goes in my live show. And if I'm showing one piece of something, if I say, oh, I'm sorry, there's only one of this necklace because the VIP scarfed it up this week. If y'all want first dibs, you gotta be in the VIP group. It's a fun community. I'm talking about it all the time in my lives. I'm gonna look over here um, at my notes real quick just to make sure. Um, it gives you the opportunity also to sell in multiple places. Now with what's left over, like if they go crazy like they did last week, they went crazy on what I gave them. Um, so I had to get creative. I went through my inventory, made sets, put stuff together. I had a marathon on New Year's Eve where I went live four different times and just showed certain categories. Um, and they ate it up. They ate it up. But my VIPs get that access first. What is your thing going to be that you give them? You could give them, they could see the fashion fix and life of the party first before anybody else sees it. You could give them when you do when you do new releases, the minute you place your order, you could place it over there and let them know, have a coming soon album. And that way they can get first dibs and you let them know it won't go in your cart till it arrives or however you want to do it, but they get that they can they can have it first. 
it's theirs. They, what is the thing that you will give them? Okay, so what is that VI? What is the merchandise? What is the B side record? What is what is the thing that you're going to give them? What is the backstage pass that's super important because you want it to be attractive? And then how are you going to connect them? The way that we connect them is every day we have something to do. First of all, we have something called wear it every day. Wear it every day is just you literally take a picture. You wear paparazzi every day. You literally take a picture of what you're wearing today and, and show the group. And you're going to go in a drawing. And I pick seven people to get tax-free for the week. That's what we did in 2020. Now, in 2021, I'm changing it up. And I'm going to do something different. Okay? Um, tomorrow is Mugshot Monday. They know me. They know me, I'm Missy J, my favorite color is yellow. My cat's name is Gibbs, I'm married to David. Um, they know I'm a coffee head. I do not move unless I have coffee inside of me. They know these things. They wanna know you personally. Just going live, showing the jewelry in rapid succession is not gonna do it. You wanna connect with them. You can go live and show jewelry in rapid succession when you're like, oh my gosh, hey Charnay, what's the temperature like in Arizona? Because you're getting to know them in a, in a different place. And sometimes I'll just say, all right, VIPs, I need y'all to give a shout out if I'm live on my business page. I need y'all to give a shout out. If you're a VIP, what are you gonna say? And they all go, yeah, you know me. And they put their little peace sign in the comments because it's become a thing. Now, listen to me, this has taken six years for me to build this community, this, this camaraderie. But I believe I started at a time when fast, when Facebook wasn't moving in such a fast and rapid succession. I believe that if you were to start a VIP group and, and you know just start getting the wheels turning, I think it would move a lot faster for you. Or if you have a VIP group and you just haven't really known what to do with it, like I put, I'd have people tell me this, I do wall drops, I put jewelry in there. I tell them to comment. You know, but all you're doing is posting. The key to the VIP group, I'm going to tell you the secret. The key is you need to get them to post. You need to get them to chat it up. How do I do that? Exactly what I just said. Wear it every day. Every day. And I'm going to show you the proofs in the pudding. Wear it every day is something we do. And they even have created a hashtag now, W-I-E. They just, you know, everybody's got to shorten things and make it a hashtag. And they're just wearing, you know, their earrings or we call these wrap it, snap it. There you have it because you wrap it, snap it. And there you have it. It's just something I started saying. Um, so these are wrap it, snap it. Sometimes these ladies, listen to me. Sometimes these ladies start out in my VIP group and they only show their wrist you know, or their ring, and they'll say, not feeling pretty, but like you girls, but I'm going to show you my ring or my bracelet. And we come in there and we just blow her thread up, telling her how nice it looks and that we would love to see her beautiful face and just encourage her. Anybody else that posts, I don't have to be the person going in and commenting. These ladies jump on each other's posts and say, oh my gosh, I would have never thought to wear that that way. Or I love your shirt. Where did you get it? Um, all of this. Am I, am I making sense? Um, so you're, you're getting them to post, you're getting them to talk to one another. And of course you want to come in and be commenting too. Tomorrow, I didn't finish this thought. Tomorrow is Mugshot Monday. I love coffee. I have more coffee mugs than I have clothes because people just keep sending me coffee mugs. Um, and my VIPs actually just created me a, 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 a branded mug for our VIP group. And she's going she's gonna to sell it to them. I can't sell it. And it doesn't have any paparazzi stuff on it. It only has things that I say, like wrap it, snap it, or anyway. But she created a coffee mug. Why? Well, because I drink coffee. They know this about me. You have to give your, your customers pieces of you. You have to share and be personal. Because listen, they can get this jewelry anywhere. 
they're buying you. They're, they feel connected to, to you. Shamika, they chose you. Christina, they shop with you because they could shop with me. They could shop with G. They could shop with Stephanie. But they said, no, Christina J, that's my girl. I love watching her lives. I love how she just cracks up at herself. You know, they love and they connect to you. And if they don't, don't take it personal because they're going to find the person they do connect to. But give them pieces of you because you're going to stand out when you do that. And invite them to this place where they get to be a little bit closer to you. And so Monday is Mugshot Monday. Tuesday is Tuesday's Treasures. And that's where you share. Um, this past week, I, I shared my grandkiddos, just a picture of all of us um, together for the holidays. And, you know, just shared. Share a family treasure of yours. And I always say this. Um, fur babies and um, besties count to or BFFs because not everybody's married. Not everybody has children. Okay. But everybody has friends and, it, and many people have pets. So you want to make sure that you're including everyone. Everyone has an opportunity to share. So on Mugshot Monday, they don't have to put a coffee cup. Some people put their Gatorade up there. We got a girl that loves Dr. Pepper, um, you know, and we wouldn't know these things if we didn't have these special days. I wake up to post. They know what day it is and they get in there. And every day I do a little giveaway. So Mugshot Monday is, um, is a free piece of $5 jewelry, okay? Um, Tuesday's treasure is they're gonna get an urban bracelet, okay? Or they're going to get um, a five pack of little girls jewelry. Now that does two things. That makes them aware that I have men's jewelry. It makes them aware I have kids jewelry, which they know. Um, and then the other thing is they become aware of each other. They start to know, they start to notice like one of my ladies doesn't have children. She always posts her cat or, you know, she hasn't been married. She doesn't have children. They love on her a, a little bit more. Many of them have adopted her and call her mama now, you know, different things. So there's this community being built around these days. It's not all about the money. Okay. The money is going to come from this because they're going to tell people about you. All right. Okay. And then where at Wednesday, we all know what Wednesday is. Um, and then I have a VIP. I would encourage encourage you to have an ambassador okay my and an ambassador is someone who's going to shout your business to the rooftops tell people about you um, my ambassador is mama kim and i actually give her uh 12 piece she gets to pick out 12 pieces of jewelry free every week she just needs to post in my vip group she'll kind of comment in the album if i miss it and say it's yours honey you know let people know she i have a countdown in there um and she posts you're gonna see mama kim and she's my ambassador and you can't have her <laughs> but she is in there she's she's in her 70s I hired her, Miss G, before COVID hit. Her and I have talked, and she said, having something to do every day and have her creative side be used because she puts sets together that I wouldn't dream of putting together, and they look fabulous. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a tour, okay? And I'm going to let you guys ask questions. I think I'm giving, giving a lot of information. And her posting increases my algorithm because people in, in, in the group, your group that you start belongs to your algorithm. Your business page you start belongs to your algorithm. Those groups you started out there years ago that they don't, they're not kind of not there anymore. I would advise you to go look and see which ones are just dead and go archive them. And that'll free up some space in your algorithm, okay? Um, and that's a different training, but that's just a little tip. But Mama Kim is an ambassador and she posts in, posts in there every day. On Thursday, she gives her tips and tricks on how to style jewelry. And on Friday, she chooses our fangirl. Now our fangirl gets a significant um, coupon each week. I'm not gonna tell you how much it is because I want you to know that you can set your amounts. It could be, the fangirl could win $10 in free jewelry from you. All right, the fangirl, fangirl Friday is a VIP and Mama Kim watches all week long who interacts. She has a list of everybody who's already been the fangirl. And this year we had our very first fan guy, Mr. Bernardin. Um, and 
he 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 got he got the coupon and do you know what he did he asked if we could split it up between other vips he felt needed encouraged all right um so we got Fangirl Friday, Wear It Wednesday, Tuesday's Treasures, and Mugshot Monday. And then, you know, overarching, you have Wear It Every Day. So they're posting something every day. Um, and Wear It Wednesday, they get $10 in free jewelry. Um, they get to pick two pieces free. Um, and and we, we do those drawings on our live shows. I do that drawing on my live show. I do the whole week. Not fangirl. Mama Kim does that. She writes up a whole bio. She finds out she's like an investigator. She finds out all the things about them, makes a big post and everybody goes crazy when the fangirl or the fan guys announced. Um, but on these days, I write every, I draw people's names and then I announce it at the top of my Thursday show, which is the last show of the week. And I do this for several reasons. I want more people at my show at the beginning. They're there, they wanna know who won all the things. And then the people that are just popping in that don't really know about the VIP group yet, they're going, what's going on? What's, who's, who's winning what, what are we doing? And I get to tell them. And a lot of times now we're to the point where my VIPs that are on the show will, will come in like, oh my gosh, I'll send you an invite. You've got to come to this group. It's amazing. We have so much fun in there. We have a recipe album now. We've had two potlucks organized by other VIPs because people want to meet. Um, and, you know, this took six years. So please understand that. But I do believe that if you bring people together like this in this day and age is with Facebook, with the way that 2020 was and everybody feeling so disconnected but coming together through social media, I do feel like you could see a change in your business and you could see a change in the new customers you see in your shows because you're gonna build an atmosphere where people start talking about you when you're not even trying to, um, trying to promote at that moment. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my VIP group and um, another thing I want to share before I do this, the posting that I do in my VIP groups, I got to manage an album. I got to look and see who's going to win certain days. I got to be in there comment commenting on people's stuff. How do I keep up with all of that? I have a very strict schedule. On my phone, I have an alarm. 10 a.m., noon, 2 p.m., and 4 p.m. That's my schedule. That works for Misty. And at those four times, it literally says, check VIP. So I go in and I check the album and I set another alarm when I start for 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes to go comment, check the album, get everything together and get out of there. And then I schedule my own posts. Okay. The one that you will see, I posted I, right before we started here tonight, um, just to let them know that I was going to be talking about them and I'm proud. Um, so, but I'm going to go in here and we're going to share the screen. Okay. And oh, snap. Let's see. Is it going to let me do that? I'm wondering, can you guys see that? No, I don't want to hide the video. I want to make the video bigger. Exit minimized. Oh, yeah, there we are. Can you see it? Oh, here we go. Can you see that? Oh, share. No, no. There we go. Can you see it? Yes, yes? ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. So yes. here we go. It is. This is the exclusive VIP group, Jewelry with the Johnsons. Um, your cover photo is very important. Um, I will say um, about, I'm actually getting ready to change the cover photo. Um, and I do that about every three months. When you change your cover photo, make sure that it's the prime time. In other words, you're getting ready to go live in about an hour or two or that, you know, that day, because it will be considered a post. It will draw attention to the people. Everybody in your group is going to get a notification if you change that cover photo. So you don't just do that loosely. Okay. And don't just get creative and start doing things. Time it and you're going to see interaction. And then when you go live, you'll see those people will at least know that you're live. Okay, so um, cover photo, 
exclusive VIP group. It does show a little bit differently on your desktop than it's going to show on your phone. All right. Um, <laughs> I have it all the way to photos right now because I want you to see these beautiful ladies. This is all wear it every day. Okay. Um, they're all posting for wear it every day. Somebody got these amazing mint chocolate. I don't know what those are, but we all want them. Yesterday I was, and I'm posting too. Um, I'm looking over there. I should be looking right here. I'm posting too. This is me and my friend, Tammy. We went shopping yesterday. Um, and, and so I'm posting too. It's not that I don't post. Um, we got Sharon here with her bird. There's a whole thread going on here about her bird and backpacks for birds. I don't even know what these people are doing they're so funny but um this is lourdes in california um here's mama kim let's look at mama kim that is mama kim mama kim is 70 oh, i wish david was in here i think she's 74 or 75 um do you think that 12 pieces of jewelry is worth that i think it is she loves it I would pay her, but she doesn't want me to. She because she is on a fixed income and she's not ready to sell. I've already asked. She loves doing this. Okay, so that's Mama Kim. Look at all those pieces. She's got layers and layers and layers, and then she has it in a little knot right here. They love seeing what she's wearing, and they have all begun to layer as well. Okay, um, this young lady right here. Um, wears a wig and used to just never smile and only show like her bracelet or her earring. And now you can, her name is, we call her Nene. You can't tell Nene nothing. All right. Cause her, just her countenance has changed being in this group and being part of us. Um, now I will show you my albums where the jewelry is sold as well, but this is the part I really want you. Here's mama Kim. Okay, I couldn't sell this necklace until Mama Kim posted this picture. <laughs> it's like they were all kind of scared of it, the loud colors. Look at that. And she's got it even layered with something else. She's got cheetah print with it. They know how fabulous she looks. But this is what she does for me every single day. And she doesn't just post one time a day. Um, she gets in there. She prays for them. She's come and stayed with me. She posts every time she gets her jewelry. Yes, she got charismatic. Okay. Um, these are, this is somebody's Tuesday treasure, the puppy. Um, this is somebody's mom and dad, their Tuesday's treasure. I'm trying to get all the way down more Tuesday's treasures, family photos. They're sharing themselves. This is Misty and her husband, Larry. Okay. Somebody's beautiful baby girl. But um, listen, look at that VIP. Yeah, you know me. Look at those. Um, somebody, one of our VIPs made ornaments. Okay. We pray at the end of every show. She's got believe there. And then VIP. Yeah, you know me. She made an ornament. And um, I did a 12 days of Christmas and Mama Kim won that, which was really cool. Everybody was happy. Um, there's my grandson. That was my um, Tuesday's treasure. Um, and here you go. Now they're sharing their mugshot Mondays. And I'm just showing you this because they're posting more than me. That makes my that makes my VIP group, the algorithm, very happy. Facebook wants to show them. So now all of this interaction going on, um, they were going nuts over the magnetic bracelets. <laughs> Somebody else is sharing their stuff. Um, but all of their interaction and their interaction with each other, um, somebody got a little turtle for Christmas for their son. It was a big deal. Let's go up here and let's look at the albums because I'll show you last week's album. And I do change it to make sure that there is um, an album party for each week. Okay. All right. And I just put them all in the same album. So this had 37, um, this had 37 pictures in it. They're not gonna buy every piece. Like I love these, I know they love them. They ended up selling out on the live show, um, but here we go. I got three remaining to pre-claim. I, I count it down for them. Let's look at one that was really popular. 
um, yeah, they, they went down the line. Here's Mama Kim, look at her, two remaining to pre-claim. Somebody in your group, somebody, you may not be able to do it right away, but think about who you could use as an ambassador for that VIP group, who you could give, hey, if I gave you three pieces this week, would you post in my video? If I sent you three pieces this week um, for free, would you post them throughout the week and tell everybody about how you like each piece? Give a review in the VIP group. Would you do that for me? Um, you might just ask a different person every week. You know, I know everybody doesn't have a Mama Kim. So it's literally it. I do have my logo on here. I use Typorama to do that. I know that'll be a question, but I put my logo on there and I never cover the crown. Um, but you know, cause we're jewelry with the Johnsons. You want people to, you want to be a household name. Okay. Um, and that's just, it's, it's really simple. Um, some of the things I do signify, you know what it is. They love the hair clips. Um, so this is backstage. They, they got, they got to see all of that before anybody else got to see that. One thing I did not do last week, I got lazy, but you can add pictures in your album. And I suggest you do this, write this down. When you create an album in your VIP group to sell, every five or six pictures, or just break it up, whatever. If you've got 12 pieces to show, every four pictures, put one about joining, joining your team. Put one image about hosting a party and earning free jewelry and put one encouraging image where you're saying, you know, hello, hello, beautiful. Yeah, you or something like that, you know, put an encouraging so that when they're looking, it's not just jewelry, it breaks up and something else comes out at them. And that is how we used to do um, parties, picture parties before we did Facebook lives. So adding, adding the opportunity, adding party hostesses, um, all of my party hostesses are in my VIP group, okay? All right, so we have our albums. Let's go over here. This is, this is the news feed. This is my question for them the other day. Would any VIPs be interested in a Bible study or a Biggest Loser Challenge? Those are two things I'm going to do for myself. And they are super, they are super excited about it. They're having all kinds of discussion about this, okay? Um, oh, she just had surgery on her eyes. In, in a bit more pain than normal, but earrings made it a little better. Wear it every day. Look how cute she is. And look, she's got, I haven't even seen this yet. She, she's got people commenting on there because they're friends now. Okay. Um, and so this is the news feed, And I just want you to see that it's them. They're the ones posting. She is like, she, this girl has so much style. I need, I need her to be an ambassador. Um, <laughs> so you've got people posting and not just about jewelry. You saw that about the, um, the chocolate. All right, let's go up here. There is something I want to, oh, announcements. This is important. And then I'm going to take questions because I feel like it's time. Um, that question that I asked about the Bible study and the biggest loser challenge for the year, um, I made that an announcement, okay? All right, and then I'm trying to see. Now I did this right before to make sure that this worked the way I want it to. I don't wanna read that. Oh, here we go. Okay, um, I got every year I post a group cleanup. If you wanna, if you wanna stay a VIP member, um, if you love our special group, comment below with your initials so we know not to remove you. Okay, we've got 100, now you know there's 1300 people in here, 123 commented, but that's good, that's good. I'm getting a feel for um, who wants to be in, okay? Um, and then when I make an album for the week, I also make it an announcement so that it shows up in your newsfeed, okay? How you make it an announcement, you touch these three dots right here when you make your post after you make it. And it should ask you, it says remove announcement, but you're gonna hit add announcement. I would also encourage you to add a post topic, okay? Um, and the topic would be, um, I use all access VIP and they know that those are the albums, okay? You can make the topic whatever you want. This is another announcement I need, who loves girl time and free jewelry, the new year is here. 
and your friends need to know they can get cute accessories for an affordable price. I also use Calendly. My link is right there and they can um, set up their party with me all the times that are available. Um, here I have how to register with me. We have a, a system called Comments Sold um, and you need to help them. If you have a system or a website, somewhere you want them to go, make an announcement. Have an, When someone new comes to your group, make sure there's a way for them to navigate the group and know what's going on. Again, we have um, a prayer post. It's been going on for a couple years. I keep the same one there. All right, and then... Da, 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 which is the one I'm working on. Oh, if you want to receive a text alert. All right, the other one I'm working on and you don't have to get, have all the ones that I do, but this one is very important. Your business policies. How long is it going to take to ship to them? What is your shipping price? What do you do with invoices unpaid? All of that kind of thing. Because in my v, VIP group, if you, if you are in my VIP group, that means you pay your invoice. Now that doesn't mean you, you can't, um, have an issue that doesn't mean that you can't have a week where something's off I had two people this week have to message me that's fine communication is key um, but repeat offenders do not stay in my VIP group because again they get that exclusive access okay so snatching up pieces and holding them and then not paying for them is, is not okay if you're a VIP so I am going to flip over to here how do I I will stop the share Okay, there we go. And then I will talk, I'm gonna let your leader take it away and we'll ask some questions. How's that? Well, okay, uh, I, I just need you to answer two for me. The overlay yeah. program you said was who? Somebody Orama, what? Oh, type Orama. Type. Type Orama. And um, I, I, I don't pay, I paid, I might've paid $2.99 for it. But that's maybe because I wanted the pro version, but there is a free version my whole team uses. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, I use Canva and Canva won't allow you to do the overlays unless you do have the pro version. So correct. Yeah. So type aroma. I have my my it's in there and I can do the overlay. Mm -hmm. And then you created something you said I use. This is at the end uh, when you were going um, through Calendly. Was it Calendly for my um, hostess? Yes. What is that called? It's called Calendly, C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y. And I use that for my party hostesses. They can just go on my link. If they show an interest, I send it right over and let them know here's exclusive access to my calendar, you know, and they pick the date they want. I also use that for my team to have calls with me. Hmm. Now, is that free or that's a, a subscription? That is free. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to look into that as well. Well, I'll, uh, I'll let everybody ask a question because I've gone over. I have somebody on the team that's doing. Oh, wait. No, give me that again. Uh, I know Mugshot Monday. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tuesday's Treasures. Wear it Wednesday. Fangirl Friday. And then we have an overarching wear it every day. Okay, so when you were talking about, so mugshot, you end up doing a drawing for the people that put in on that one or, okay. I do, I, I do it, there, there are individual winners mm -hmm. and I have all the winners listed. And when I go live, I tell them all who won on Thursday. So I don't like announce it every day or make a post. I do it in my live show and that works for me. Right. Because curiosity and the VIPs are all there when my video starts because they want to know who won. Right. Okay. And then, um, wait, oh God, I had another question. Take your time. Take your time. It's Sunday night. I don't do anything on Sunday. I mean, I cat nap. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I'm so easy. I really am. I just right, don't want Well, look, I asked a few. So if somebody else want to ask, you guys go ahead and then we. Yeah, I want, I, I love participation and I'm not afraid of questions. So I'm sure I missed something. And if not, it's okay too. Don't feel obligated. <laughs> Shamika, were you going to ask something? I'm looking over my notes. It was something, but I can't find my question no more. <laughs> I 
understand that. Oh my gosh, I write so fast and furious sometimes when people are training. So I get it. I get it. The key to the VIP, I get, I do a lot of things and that grew over time. My advice to you, if this is something you want to do, you can do Mugshot Monday on your personal profile or your business page. On Instagram, if you're trying to build up Instagram, this is going to work anywhere. Um, the only thing about those three places is they're, they're all open to the public. The VIP group brings it in exclusive. You can do all of these things. Um, I would suggest what thing stood out to you? Do that first. Get some mm -hmm. engagement. Get you know, and then add to. We added Tuesday's treasures. We added wear it every day. Wear it every day came from COVID. The ladies were buying jewelry like crazy, and they just wanted to get up and get pretty because they weren't going to work anymore. And so we did wear it every day, and then seven people got tax free for the week. I asked them, "You want free shipping? Tax free? What do you want?" They're, "We love tax free." You know, so we did that. You know, add, and you might make up your own things. You might have Faith Friday where they share a testimony or, you know, uh, Taco Tuesday where they share a recipe. You can make it anything you want. Definitely start with what I've given you and it's going to bring some creativity to you and your, your tribe will come. I would highly suggest the brand ambassador, um, just that person, if maybe you just give them two pieces, three pieces of jewelry, say, I'll send you three pieces for free. Would you please post in my VIP group and tag me in it three times this week? And it's, it's yours free of charge. And you may even add a little disclaimer, ask her if, you know, would she mind hosting a party? I'll send you five if you book a party. You know, you, you, you can work it, but um, does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, am I muted? Yeah. Oh, no. no okay. Yeah, no, um, it's a lot of things that I got from your uh, previous video that I utilize. I, I did, I've never had a VIP page and I went on and started one, but I had started right before I saw your video. And so I said, yep, I got to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I go live. I've always believed that you should go live on your business page. Yes. And then, but I fell to the pressure, but now I'm back on my business page and uh, I, I, I probably sell more there than mm -hmm. anything because you can share it back. Yes. So, um, and I give away jewelry and stuff in the VIP group. And so mm -hmm. the ambassador most definitely and to kind of purge some of the people, I mean, to be in there and you are not participating on anything. Uh, so I just need to come up with my list of prizes that I want to do because I have some things now uh, you can get, you can earn G bucks. I go live in my VIP group on Wednesdays, uh, okay. Wednesdays at 9 p.m., but it's not to sell jewelry. I, right. I, go, I go live. Uh, we play games. I have a board. They they win uh, G bucks, okay. jewelry, and all kind of stuff. And and I'm in my pajamas. They're in their pajamas. Yes, and uh, so <laughs> yeah, so I do that on Wednesdays. Uh, now every Wednesday was honestly getting to be a lot. It mm -hmm. really, really was. So the new year, uh, I gave it a break in De the last couple weeks of December. And I start back this Wednesday, but yeah, I'm going to have a different format. It's a different year. And I know I can't do that every day because I go live five times a week plus that. Yeah, that was a lot. Right. And that's what you, this is the perfect time of year to, to, to do this because you can change anything you want right now. It's totally going to be, you're not going to throw anybody for a loop, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and okay. yes, so we are looking at right now changing Tuesday's treasures, keeping Mugshot Monday, because that's a big part of who I am that came from the coffee craze, <laughs> you know, but changing some things. We're even going to change Fangirl Friday. We're going to have two queens for the month that will win. One of them will win, you know, a five pack of each of the life of the party pieces that we get one one queen will get that and all she's got to do is just post what she got on her you know we just ask her if she would take her royal exposure to the masses and let everybody know what she won from us in our vip group and then another person is going to get their choice of the fashion fix like that nobody will be able to buy it they get their choice of the fashion fix set we're going to make it more fun so you'll get there where you feel like oh my gosh all i'm doing is giving away jewelry 
no, just after a while, you need to change it up a little bit. It's like a promotion. You, you're going to need to change it. And this is a perfect time to make it fresh. I love the pajama party. What I might do is like the third Wednesday of every month, we have our VIP jammy party and then gas it up all month long in my life so that people will come. Okay, so the thing okay. that I am changing uh, when we go back, because uh, the games and stuff that we play, uh, there's one that's been there, done that. And they're about me. I'm going to give you uh, four things. Three of them I've done, one I haven't, or oh. only one I've done and the other three I haven't. And the and all, yeah, that kind of blows them away a little bit. Uh, I love it. They, they'll pick something. I'm like, really? You know? Now, how I'm changing it up is that the, uh, some of the VIP, they're going to pose the question so we get to know them, not just yes. about me. So, um, mm -hmm. and then they get, they're going to win jewelry just for participating, period. Right. So, yeah, so that's one of the things that uh, I'm changing up along with, we're going to make this, I don't know, the, the second or fourth uh Wednesday somewhere in there because that's I, I can't I'm looking to go platinum this year and with how I'm trying to sell by the time that you do shipping and all this other stuff yeah it's a lot oh my god it's a lot question if you're not selling gold or above, oh, I see you, Shamika. Hold on one second. If, if you're not selling gold or above, I would suggest, as this is just a suggestion, but you know, letting them know they got to pay for shipping, if you know, for their free price, if they're winning a buku amount of jewelry, you know what I'm saying? With me, most of them are placing an order, so I'm just tossing it in whatever they've ordered and paid for. So keep your budget in mind i know not everybody you know some people are shooting for bronze some people just started you can't go gangbusters giving away your inventory you know you do have hostess rewards and all that but if you're doing that know how much you have and base your prizes on that make sure you know what i'm saying make sure you're smart about it don't go gangbusters i'm i am selling platinum and we're on the way to diamond so that's a different scenario and you're going to grow each year so shamika you have a question i'm excited Yes, um, public for your VIP. Is it public? Um, like, because you're saying that you give them the opportunity to, you know, post and everything. So is the setup where it's a public thing or you have to have them give them access or something like that? So they have to request to join and it is private, not okay. secret. So it can be seen but you know, okay. if you're not a member, you can't comment, you can't, you can't do nothing unless you, and then you got to okay. join. And so what I, and I also made Mama Kim an administrator so that she can add people, you know, so that if I'm not checking things out, you know, if I don't know what's going on, if I miss something, she catches it. Um, keyword alerts is very important. If you're going to run albums, we didn't always have comments sold. And so I had keyword alerts that's in your settings. If you're on your phone, it's going to be, and many of you may know this, but I know I did it for a long time. Um, you're going to look under the little shield at the top here. And because I'm not touching it the right way, uh, then it'll pop up here a little um, hickey bob. Let me see. Where's my keyword alerts? Certainly. Did I miss it? Okay, it is in there. Group settings. I am so sorry. Something must have changed. And I haven't used keywords in a long time. So because I have um, comments sold. But look up keyword alerts. Maybe Google it. I'm so sorry. Usually it's right under that shield. And you're able to put in words like I put in the word sold, I put in the word mine. So anytime sold or mine was said in the group, I got an alert and I could just go through this list of alerts. Um, oh. But something on here has changed. That was a lifesaver. You never know when Facebook updates things sometimes. Um, that would be stinky if that okay, wasn't Okay, so I just found, now I'm on a computer though. Uh, okay, babe. And what I did was, uh, 
inside of on the team page, Shamika, I went there and then the admin tools come up and now it's called uh, moder moderation alerts and then edit the alerts. And then it said, I can do, create a keyword and an engagement. Moderation alerts, that's it. Thank you. And it's right there. Yeah. That's changed the name right there. It's called moderation alerts. So, um, but uh, yeah, my, my group is, um, my group is private. And I believe it's set to social learning, like your like your team group is, so that you can have so that you can have topics. So that at the top of my page there are topics where people can see, you know, register to shop with us, et cetera. It's, there's information there under those topics. Um, and then every time I post, every time I schedule my post for the day, like I'll before I go to bed tonight, I'll have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday already posted mugshot monday touch i'll have those already posted but i'm scheduling them and i schedule them to post at about 6 30 a.m so it gets the wheel rolling and believe it or not some people have already posted by the time mine goes <laughs> and then when i wake up or I'm, I'm in facebook for the first time of the day i will make that post an announcement so that as people come in they're reminded of what to do for the day and um it's just it's things that you get have to get used to. You may you may you might do one of those ideas. You may want to do them all, but I know for me, um, I had to eat the elephant a little bit at a time, you know. And this is what I grew into. And I'm available, you know, if your team needs help or more questions at a later time, I'm available to come back and answer those. As you get into, you know, I can hear something, but then when I get to doing it, right? Then I, yeah, you know, I just uh, I, look. I was mute. Um, I, let me see from your video, you, you, I'm trying to think what question would someone ask, uh, cause you've given them everything. So you pretty much post on your VIP page, the things that you've shared with us, and then mm -hmm. you save your personal page for just that personal items. But do you utilize your storyboard on your personal page for paparazzi? Oh, honey. Yes. I have parties in there. <laughs> I have parties in there. Um, I, I have my Instagram connected to my Facebook story on my face, my Facebook, my Instagram and my Facebook story. Both of those are connected. So I will do um, a one minute flash live on an Instagram story and it goes right over to my Facebook story. Facebook story. Mm -hmm. I share personal, I share inspirational, you know, I share something funny because I'm pretty, I'm pretty quirky. <laughs> I am. And I, and I like my humor, you know, I like slapstick comedy. I laugh at dumb stuff and I tell dumb jokes, you know, and I include that all in my story. Don't be afraid to be who you are in your, in, in and stories also, that's something since you brought that up, when you open your Facebook and your leader has probably already trained you on this. But when you open your story, or I'm sorry, when you open your Facebook, like there's a top of somebody's head, but what's the first thing you see? That you see stories. Mm -hmm. You know, that's this is this is stories. And this is how people, this is what a lot of people do. They just tap on that. You need to be there. That is prime retail space. That is the front page of the newspaper. You want to be there. Now, do not go in there and put 35 stock images and call it a day. <laughs> go in there and you can put stock images, but break it up. Put a little bit of inspirational. Put a quote you love. Put a picture of you like you saw me, my grandbaby, my family. My jewelry is actually falling off. I need to get some. I like jewelry to be in there every 24 hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want that to be in there. I want it rolling in there. Whether it's coming soon, whether it's like these just arrived today, you can make a little little boomerang i mean that's a whole nother training i love stories you can add effects you can add emojis you can make it um you can have flashing little flames on your stock photo use your stock photo but you know what they love more than anything that picture i posted of me and my friend i sold three pairs of the brass earrings i was wearing i promise you i couldn't give them away on a live 
<laughs> I don't know why, but they saw that like, Missy, I love your earrings. And I just want to go. Pew, pew, pew. I've shown them in the last three lives where y'all been, you know, and yeah. now I don't have enough for everybody, Right. but that's, they love to see you in it. Um, but yes, I use my stories. I use everything. I use everything. I'm not real good at my, my news feed on Instagram, but I'm great at my story on Instagram. Okay. So now you, you, you've mentioned comments sold. How long have you been with comments sold? Since, uh, July, the first week of July. Okay. And I'm assuming that you like it. I do. It has its challenges, but I do like it. They're not catered to paparazzi. They don't know what to do with us yet. They're used to clothing and sizes and, you know, having a hundred and one piece you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but they they definitely have a model that works for us. I do my first training on comments sold tomorrow night for another a sister elite. Um, because there are some things that I have figured out along the way because I'm selling paparazzi. Mm. You know, there are some things. Uh, for me, it's easier just to go put the item in their cart when I do my albums. Like, But there's a process to that that you got to know before you can go create an album and know what you're doing or you're going to have things double sold well there's a way to not even allow it to be on you know there's these little pieces of it that need to be pa taught paparazzi style and that's exactly. what i work on that's okay. what i want to work on but it's okay. it, like if you do it just reach out to me i will help you i love it um we have an app now um and I love that too. We have a web store website. I love that. I don't use Shopify. I never had a website before. I wanted one. And then we did comments sold. Um, we did comments sold because I was to the point where I was up till 4 a.m. every Thursday night or Friday morning. And um, we have promised for six years to ship by three on Friday. And I'm one of those people, if I tell you I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And um, and I believe you should be that way. Mm -hmm. and it was just getting too much. So the work has transferred to the front end. You know what I mean? But when I shut that camera down on Thursday night, I'm done. My invoices are already out there. They just got to pay and then I ship. I love it. I do love comments sold. Okay. Uh, Stephanie has a question. Oh, I don't know why she didn't answer. She just said, uh, what do you do on Thursdays again? Uh, Thursdays is when Mama Kim gives her little tips and tricks or shows story organization in the VIP group. And then it's also my last day to go live for the week. Um, and so then I also announce all the winners at the top of that night's show. So Thursday, I don't have anything rolling that's good. I'm talking about your personal news feed. First things first, the secret to the algorithm is you are telling the algorithm what you want to see and the algorithm wants to make you happy. For instance, if I go to Amazon and I go look up toasters and then I go log into Instagram, what's the first ad I'm going to see? Yep, A toaster. You know it. I know it. How come we can't get our heads around that if you're following every elite in paparazzi, if you're following every paparazzi sister, every direct sales sister, everybody that's doing the same thing you're doing, guess what the algorithm's going to do? It's going to show you only paparazzi people. That means you have no room to see what your customers are doing. There's no room. I have 3,900 friends, 3,700, I don't know. I'm not, I, but I got 3,700 on Facebook. I probably see 37 people in my newsfeed. That's it. Because you can't, you, you would be there for hours. You could not see everything that everybody posted on your friends list, okay? So what you need to do, first of all, if you want to follow me, follow me. Understand, understand, that means you're going to see me a lot, okay? Don't friend me, okay? But you can follow me if you want to learn from me. I understand. Pick a few people you like. Follow your leader. Follow Miss G. Follow her. You're, she's the one you need to really follow. Um, pick two more people that are influencers that are doing things the way you want to do it. And then go, I don't care, go on 
follow all those paparazzi people, all those direct sales people, all of those people talking about how to grow your bit, go unfollow them, go check on them. I love Andrea Hutchison. I don't follow her. I just don't. But do I go check on, oops, I'm about to drop my phone. Do I go check on her profile and see what she's doing every day? Yeah, because Andrea is my girl. She's my friend. I love her. If we didn't do paparazzi, I would still want to see what Andrea was doing. But you tell the pop, you tell the Facebook brain what to show you, okay? It's not a scam. It's not a gimmick. You're doing that. Anytime you hesitate, anytime you, when you are scrolling, and I'm going to show you a little trick because I want your Facebook feed to look differently. Oh, what's the first thing in my news feed? Uh, the VIP group by Missy J. Wonder why that is because I'm in there a lot, right? And the people in there talk to me a lot. Um, I, you can see I've been looking for new glasses. There it is. All right, you look at your news feed. If it is full, and stay away from this, this suggested friends, don't even go in there. I don't want you to go in there. You know what I want you to do? I want you to think of, like Miss G said, I want you to think of that student from 10 years ago that was really popular. She was a sweet girl. You loved her. I want you to go find her and start connecting with her. Say something about her marriage and her baby, and then go look through her friends list and see who you actually know that you haven't connected with in a while and go start commenting on their posts. And you know what? And get the jewelry out of your head because that part's going to come. But connect with people because remember, people don't buy the paparazzi. They buy you. They connect to you. The other thing, when you're in your story, and then I'll stop. This is my girl time with my friend from yesterday. When you're in your story and people like it, this little list is gold. These people looked at your story. You can go in here. Now, listen, if you're doing this solely to make a sale, then I would appreciate it if you didn't do it. But if you are doing it to add value and connect with people and get to know them so that they have a choice, if they, they're going to learn that you do paparazzi, then do it. You can go in here and say, okay, who is Nikki? You know, and you can go, you'll have to, you have to do a little, so you open it. That's your messenger, okay? And you can go to her profile. I'm trying to do this backwards. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, snap. The point of it is you want to find, there we go, profile. All right. So I'm going to go on here and don't go back five weeks. That's creepy go back to like her first or second post on her newsfeed. Okay, yeah, I can get down with the Ohio State Buckeyes winning. Woo woo. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can get down with that. So I can get in here and say, yeah, go Buckeyes. Can't wait to play Alabama. I can make a genuine post with her that I'm connecting. And guess what? She's going to show up in my newsfeed. That's the trick. You're changing your newsfeed. When you get people to see you is when they comment and interact with you but your choice to comment to her I want you to change what your news feed looks like go talk to different people use your stories to do that because everybody's up in that story prime real estate space and then think of that person think of that popular kid in high school that you graduated with I mean you know and go get outside of what Facebook is sending you as suggested friends, because many of you are doing it wrong. So what they're suggesting is, first of all, some of it may even be out of compliance because it's somebody else's best customer, or it, you know what I'm saying? So you want to, but you want to get into the cold market. You want to get into places where you could be seen by people who haven't seen you before. Does that help? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to do that right now. Go Buckeyes. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? Well, that's good, Shamika. She said she had over 600 people to look at her story when she was dancing. And so now there's a list for you to head, head out on. Head out there. And like I said, and network. When, yep. And you are just, you're connecting with them. You're introducing them to you and you're getting to know them. 
When you get to know people, you won't see them as a dollar sign. You'll begin to see them as a person. And when you see a pretty necklace, you can really reach out to them and say, oh my gosh, Nene, I know you're going to love this since you're falling in love with gold right now. You're coming from a, you don't have to pretend to be genuine. You're genuine. It feels kind of weird when you first start because you are learning how to sell. You are learning how to connect. So if you just started, it will feel unnatural. And these are ways that you can come across as genuine and I hope it helps you. When that story is archived, you can't see that list anymore, right? That's correct, Charmaine. It lasts for 24 hours. It lasts for 24 hours. So I recommend on the weekends, I put more, more stuff in my story just because I, I'm not selling. I mean, I'm selling in my album and I'm selling, but I'm not going live to sell. Um, so, but I recommend three to five stories, piece, pictures in your story. If they got to go through like 37 of them, it is exhausting. It is exhausting. If you're going to show a lot of pieces, I recommend doing a little live from um, your story in Instagram. Do you know how to go live on Instagram in your story? Do you guys know how to do that? I recommend doing that because you can show 37 pieces, but it's in one minute and it's in 15 second segments. Um, and that's quick, short, and you can make a lot of money on those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Everybody, look, all hearts and minds clear? All hearts and minds. <laughs> yeah. I don't see anything else up there. I, and uh, I like, I, I'm going to stop recording. Hold on. Let me stop this.